Hallo, ich heiße Ankit. Mein Name ist Ankit. Ich bin Ankit. Welcome here in my Jammu language club, which we are running under the umbrella of A Square House. So we have a language house in the name of A Square, in which we are running a lot of club program. Like we have a lot of programs for the languages, right? So today uh, I'm going to give you a delivery, like how to represent yourself in Jammu language. Okay. So we have Zig Forstilen. Okay. So we have Zig. Forstellen is basically is my introduction. I introduce yourself in German language. Okay, see we have a lot of ways in order to speak of myself in German language or in German language. For example, if I will say my name is Anki, so I have a lot of ways in German language. My first is Hallo is Hello. Ich heiße. Basically, Ich heiße. Ich heiße. So. We have a beta sign over here because in German language we have alphabets. This is a beta sign. That sound we call it double S. This is a beta sign. The sound, the sound we call not B. That's a S sound. So there is Ich heiße Ankit. My name is Ankit. If I'm saying that's a, if I'm speaking with my friends, hello, my I am Ankit. So hell, hello. Ich bin Ankit. I am Ich bin Ankit. If you're going for a formal version, like if you want to speak, uh, uh, if you're speaking with your, you know, your interviewers, or you may be a director of the office, and you will say, "My name is Ankit." You cannot say Ich bin. You will say, "My name is." My name is. If me, we call it as a my name is because is is my is. So be so. So this is my ish heiße Ankit, ish bin Ankit, and my name is Ankit. So there are three ways in which you can speak the, uh, you can speak out your name. So speak after me, ish heiße, ish bin, and my name is. Is it clear to you? Now, I can tell my family name. Okay, for example, my family name is Malhotra because I am Ankit Malhotra. So I will say my family name. Familiar name is. I will say my familiar name. Familiar name is is basically my family name. So if I will say my familiar name, familiar name is basically my family name. Is that clear to you? So if I will say my familiar name, familiar name, familiar name is my family. I am asking. I am saying my family name is Malhotra. So I will say my familiar name is. Uh, Malhotra, maybe uh, anything. Okay, if I'm saying I come from Germany, I come. So we have a verb, ich komme, ich komme aus Deutschland. Is ich komme aus Deutschland. So it is, I come from Germany. If I'm saying I come from Germany, I am from Germany. Okay, so I will say ich komme aus Deutschland. If I will say I live in Berlin, so we have a city in German Germany. We call it Berlin. So I will say Ich wohne. Wohne is basically we have a verb. Okay. So I live in Berlin. Ich wohne in Berlin. Is that clear to you? So I will say I come from Germany. Ich komme aus Deutschland. I will say I live in Berlin. So I will say Ich wohne in Berlin. I speak German and English language. If I will say I speak German and English language, ich spreche Deutsch und Englisch. Speak up. So this is my verb. Speak. Sprechen is a verb. The full verb. Sprechen. Okay. So this is my verb. Ich spreche Deutsch und Englisch. It means I speak. Ich spreche Deutsch und Englisch. Is that clear to you? So we have a lot of ways, like ish hi sir to introduce myself. Ish hi sir, Ankit. Ish bin Ankit. My name is Ankit. My family name is Malhotra. Ish komme aus Deutschland. Ish wohne in Berlin. Ish spreche Deutsch und Englisch. Is that clear to you? Now, if I will say my age, like I am thirty one year old, so I will say ish bin thirty one. We call this I because one we have I. Ein und Dreizig. Ein und Dreizig is my thirty one. So I will, if you will go back with my last module where I have given all the countings, you know, uh, the all the counting portion. Okay. So if I'm saying I'm thirty one year old, I will say Ich bin ein und Dreizig Jahre alter. 
यार आल्टर इज माई फैम से आई एम थर्टी वन ईयर ओल्ड से आई एम थर्टी वन ईयर ओल्ड इश बेन ओंज इश बेन वी हैव वन आयन वन वी हैव आयन ओंज ड्राइजिक यार आल्टर इश बेन आयन ओंज ड्राइजिक यार आल्टर सो आई एम थर्टी वन ईयर ओल्ड आई से इश बेन आयन वन ओन ड्राइजिक यार आल्टर Is that clear to you? If I will say I am single, I am single. Ich bin ledish. Ich bin ledish. Okay. It means I am single. If I am saying I am married, I am married. Ich bin. This is my single ledish. My single. If I am saying Ich, I am married. Ich bin fair high rated. Fair high rated. Fair. Speak after me. Fair high. Rated, fair high rated is basically my married. If I am saying I am married, I am ish bin I am fair high rated. However, I am not married. I am single, so I will say ish bin ladish. Ish bin ladish. Is that clear to you? So let, let's repeat one more time. Ish hi sir Ankit. Ish bin Ankit. My name is Ankit. My family name is Malhotra. Ich komme aus Deutschland. Ich wohne in Berlin. Ich spreche Deutsch und Englisch. Ich bin 31 Jahre alt. Okay, ich bin ledig. Ich bin fair heiratet. It means I'm married. Okay, I'm saying I'm a student. Ich bin student. If I'm because uh, my noun in German, we have a masculine and feminine. So if I will say I'm a student, I will say ich bin student. If I will say I am a female student, for example, I am a female. For example, if you any female is watching this video, so she will say like this: Ich bin Studentin, because a female we have ending with I am. Okay. So if I will say I am a teacher, Ich bin Lehrer, Ich bin Lehrer. If I will say any female will say like I am a teacher, so she will say Ich bin Lehrerin. Lehrerin is used for a female professor. And Liara is for male professor. Is that clear to you? So if if I will say I have a kid, I have one kid. If I'm married, if I'm saying ish bin fia hai rachet, and I have one kid, I have ish habu, I have ish habu ein kinder, ish habu ein kinder. If I will say I don't have kid, so what I will say ish habu kind kinder, ish habu kind kinder. Okay. So if I will say, uh, my hobbies are playing cricket and uh, listen music. So my hobbies then, my hobbies are my hobbies then, cricket spielen. Spielen is a full verb to play. In German, we have a play. Play is a verb. So that is spielen. Spielen is a full verb to play. So I will say my hobbies then, cricket spielen. Music horn. Horn is to listen basically. Speak of horn. Horn is a verb to listen basically. So if I will say, uh, my hobby is in cricket, spielen, uh, music horn. Okay. So basically, this is like a normal introduction German language. For example, I'm taking your interview, or if you want to, you go to Germany and you would explain yourself. Like my name is. So what you will say? Ich heiße Ich bin my name is my name is Ankit. Ish hi sir Ankit. Ish bin Ankit. My name is Ankit. I'm 31 year old. Ish bin I'm on drive the car I am single. Ish bin ladish. I am married. Ish bin fair high rated. I have a kid. Ish bin I'm kinder. I don't have kid. Ish bin kind of kinder. I am a student. Ish bin student. I am a professor. Ish bin lehrer. I live in Berlin. I live in Berlin. Ish wohne in Berlin. I come from Germany. Ish komme aus Deutschland. My family name is Malhotra. My family name is Malhotra. My hobbies in my hobbies are my hobbies in cricket, spielen, music, horn. Is that clear to you? So guys, you can have you know you can uh, do the practice like this. You can have you know uh, the video like this. Or what you can do is you can uh, uh, you can uh, 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 you can get the benefit uh, of this uh, live session and uh, you what you can do is you can pan down right you can watch this video you can pause this video and you can again rewatch this video so that it will help you out 
is that clear to you so i hope guys uh, this session will definitely help you out because we have decided that a language club in which we are running in, as an a student house we have decided like we want to give you a lot of delivery in other languages because definitely i will come back with my uh, next module in the spanish and french language in chinese language also because uh, uh, for me i am a polyglot i have done five languages in my in my history because i have a total work experience of 15 years so in this 15 years because i started my career with uh, lufthansa airlines as in in order to directly pay off lufthansa but yes i worked with a uh, lot of airlines companies wherein i get a chance i got a chance to you know mingle myself with different languages because the the moment i handle myself as in uh, french clients i also handle the french clients in my history i handle the spanish clients i handle german clients i handle chinese clients so i handle a lot of drop in clients i would say uh, in my travel professional so basically uh, this was the campaigning which we have decided because when i was skills right so we we made a, a square house in which we have a tie with the corporate also like the corporate uh, who uh, you know eager uh, themselves to uh, get their uh, employees trained in different languages because if, for example if someone is running a travel business if someone is running a logistics or anything business like clothing business and they have their team and they want that my team should be trained in one language so we are giving a proper channel training uh, to corporate training where i was it was a corporate tie up to the employees as well so this is the motto of my uh, to creating my a square house so uh, please watch this video and definitely this is a live session which i am delivering to this not uh, there is no editing on this this is proper live session which you are getting it out so you can have this session free of course no charge you can just click on the link and you can watch this video okay so i believe it will help you out and definitely if there is many aspirants who want to open their own process as in you know french call center spanish call center german call center so they can have this they can contact to me i will i will definitely guide them okay so by the time take care bye bye